We are all on our own unique journeys. The past few years has put an immense amount of anxiety into everyone, into society, into businesses, the way we conduct ourselves and so on. I just got off the phone this morning from one of my daughters. We had a lovely conversation. There's been some weeks, uh, possibly even in two or three months actually, that we'd spoken uh, and or have seen each other. And it's interesting, right? Because this whole fluttering of like, where you lose your breath and these sort of emotions come over us. And it's interesting because people will provide solutions, a three-step process to this, an eight-step process to that. And I've spoken about this before. The point to this is we must all do what we need to do to get by and to get through things. And we cannot do it alone. We do need the support of family, friends, colleagues, and even just people within our own society, our own community, people within our local, for example, grocer. I went and got milk this morning. He's a lovely gentleman there. I had a quick chat to him just about certain things and it was, it was fantastic. So the point is we need these touch points to be able to just reconnect and actually be present with people that we surround ourselves with and people that are in our immediate circle within society. So if you are somebody that's dealing with a certain amount of anxiety, not sure how to um, interact with your community and or people just even within your shop, don't go through the auto checkout at the grocery store. Go to the teller, go to the person behind the cash register and pass your groceries through them. Keep them employed. Pay them with cash to what it is that you're having the service provided for. Talk to them, ask them how their day is. I'm sure if they're a, if they're a good sales attendant or, or cash, cash clerk, that they're gonna ask you how your day is. We must keep this communication going because all too often people are demonizing these things, right? They're demonizing the phone. The phone is not the problem, it is not the challenge. The challenge is us, is we, is I, is me, is you. We can't blame the phone, we can't blame the technology. They are merely a tool, right? They are merely, merely the tool and all they are doing is extrapolating what is in here, what is in here and what is in our gut. So, be personable. Say hello, smile to the person walking past you, open the door for somebody, hold the door for somebody. If someone holds the door for you, walk through and say thanks. We must also be in a state of receiving. It's one thing to give out. For example, I pay a coffee forward every single week, at least one, I will buy myself a coffee and pay a coffee forward, if not two or three. That for me is just something that I like to do. Whether the people at the coffee shop do it or not is not for me to decide, that is up to them. But my intent is to pass coffees forward to the person behind me and or the group of two or three that may come forward, uh, sorry, can't come to the, come to the, um, to the register uh, post me. So the point is we must be personable smile, say hello, say good morning, good afternoon, whatever it might be, and just be personable. So take care, have a great day, and step out into what your local surroundings are because there are good people around us everywhere.